Day 84 solution, let's start with building the signup form. Well, let's start with a, a basic page, is it? Our main page here is gonna be, let's let's do the, the nice way. Let's build our page that's just a blank page with two links on it. In fact, I'm gonna use the three quotes trick so I can be a bit more excited with this. And of course, if you don't like doing um, HTML code directly in a Flask page, and like, let's be honest, who does? Because it's not helping you, it's not, it's not closing your tags or anything like that. It would be best to do it as a file and then import it as we've done before with F open and reading it in. Um, I'm going to add to both of them. I'm going to say sign up will be slash sign up. And I'm going to say login will be slash login. So if I run that, I should have a simple page now with two buttons to decide what I'm going to do. And of course it returns a server error because I'm not returning a page. So that's a bit of a problem. Uh, and I've then the indents weird there. There we go. <clears throat> so we've got login and sign up. Let's start with our sign up page. And of course, I'm not going to do anything too fancy with this. I'm not going to stick images in or anything like that. So please, um, if you want to do that, please do. I'm just trying to do this quickly so I can show you exactly the key things. You can mess around with how it looks. You, you've got that skill. You know what's going on. So let's have a look at page equals blah, blah. Let's do return page, but let's do an F open. Make that page in a moment. Open that in read mode. Page equals f.read and then f.close to close it up afterwards. That should open the page up and stick it into the page and put it there. Let's make that file signup.html. And I've got a bit of a form already copied on my clipboard that we can mess around with. I'm going to do a forward slash process to deal with that. In fact, now I'm going to do I'm going to do sign up and show you how I can deal with two different pages at once. Um, I've got a username, I've got a password. I wanted to ask their name as well. There we go. If I stop and refresh that now, sign up should take me to a sign up form. Great. If I fill that sign up form in, I should go to forward slash sign up. So let's go back to main and let's create a sign up with the post method. Now this is good because what this will do is this will give me a differentiator on the page. If I go to the sign up page, Sending details from a form, it'll do something else. So if I go to the page, not wanting that. There's a few things I want to have a think about here. I'm going to import requests and redirect as well. So I think what mainly I should be redirecting them to the login page. So redirect to slash login. As long as we create the user, we'll get that. So I think the first thing to do would be to check to see if the user already exists. I'll have to put that in a try. In fact, there might be something in the database for that. Let's have a look. We're going to list our keys. So that's going to be keys equals DB keys. And we're going to say if user, we're going to get our form as well, actually, sorry, form equals request.form. We're going to say if form Username not in keys. We're gonna write some code for that. Else return. I'm just gonna redirect to the sign up page because that username's already been used. So let's pull that up here because that's where I'm going if the username's not there. So that means db form username is gonna become a dictionary with name. That's going to be the form value of name and password which is going to be the form value of password now we've done salting and hashing that's something that you should be using here i'm not using it because it's going to take too long to put all that in as well but you could go and copy that salting and hashing code turn them into subroutines and bring them in if you wanted so if they're in i'm adding them to the directory and returning them to the login page okay so let's have a think about the login page now Okay, let's build that login page then. So, let's put an app root on there. Slash login. It's going to be another post. And def for login. We are going to have to bring in another form. And we don't need for this one. I can bring in the, the form I used before because we don't really need anything other than the username and the password. So that looks all right there. 
Okay, so let's rip off this one. Ah, hold on, I need to take off the method. Because this is the login page if you just go to it. You get the login page and that's it. But if you go there with the method, that's when it gets exciting. Use my brackets off my def there. Right, okay. So broadly this, let's do this job again. So this time, if it's not there, then I'm going to send them back to the login page. Otherwise, if, if form password is the same as DB, whatever, and then we get that location in the DB from form username. Oh dear. Form username there, there we go. So if they're the same, I'm just going to redirect from that one. Return, redirect. Otherwise, that password's incorrect. So we need to redirect login again, skip them back to the login page if they're wrong. And then all that's left for us to do, I think, as long as I haven't broken anything major, is bring in the home page. And all I'm going to do here is get. Actually, I'm not going to send them to the home page because that's going to cause some problems that we haven't actually talked about yet. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do and return hello. I F string it. I have to use the three quotes trick. We'll do hello, and then we bring in an F string. And instead of bringing in their password, we'll bring in their name. So let's stop it. Let's run it again. Okay, I've broken something. Let's have a look. What have I broken there? Line six. Ah, the method instead of methods again, haven't I? How many times have I done this? Oh my goodness me. What a mug. There we go. Server's running. Sign up. David. David Morgan. Password. Baldy1. Okay. That error and kicked me back. So let's have a look at what's happening there. So. So I think it's the else from this one. That's the else from if the username's not in the key already. So have I already added myself to it? I'm not sure. Doesn't look like there's anything in the key value. Let's have a look. DB is not, ah, uh, <laughs> I haven't brought the database in with the import command. There we go. That would be a good place to start, wouldn't it? That literally should have been step one. And there's me like a Muppet forgetting it completely. Right. David. David Morgan. Baldy one. Hmm. I've got key, if form username not in key. Key not defined. Keys. Ah. Oh. Such silly mistakes sometimes, honestly. Right, will I? Will it have worked this time? I'm a bit sick of typing my details in, to be honest. Oh, something happened. Did I get a key in my database? This takes a little bit of time to update. Hopefully we should see it. Let's have a go. Oh, one key. Okay, my login is not working there, but I suspect I've missed keys out of there. But the nice thing about the database, of course, is that I can now just click login, hopefully. There we go. So if I do David, I do Baldy1, my name, it appeared. How fantastic. <clears throat> well, that's all working nicely there. I'm happy with that. We saw the name, we saw the data being added. What more could you want?